I hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens. I'm in Mexico City. We're in a taxi now. We're on our way to a restaurant that's called Los Sifones. The reason I'm so excited to go there and why I'm gonna share it with you is because they have a they specialize in a couple of unique dishes that look absolutely incredible. Oh, I can't wait to share lunch with you. Gracias. Buenos dias. Hey, that was about a 30 minute drive from the center of Mexico City. Uh, it's a ni pretty nice neighborhood. Oh, and we got dropped off right at the restaurant. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Yes. Yeah, it's a family kind of sit-down restaurant, but it has a really friendly feel to it, and most of the, the restaurant is almost full now, uh, except for this section that we're sitting in, and it is almost all families that are eating here, and uh, this, the food smells amazing. Uh, this is a cool kind of like, almost like diner style restaurant. Okay, so this is the menu, but you also get a whole paper checklist that you can just check the things that you like as well. Molcajetes calientes. Si, sí, caliente. De... de bistec. De salsa. Verde, roja, verde, o de las dos. Las dos. Las dos, las dos, las dos. Sí, sí, sí. Tacos de arachicate. Arachicate. So what this restaurant is most famous for and why I was so excited to come here is for their mocajete, which is uh, it's a stone bowl mortar. And what they do is they take one of them, they put it on the hot griddle, then they put all the ingredients inside and they boil it until it's sizzling away, and then they serve it to you. That only took like five minutes to arrive and you can watch walk up there and watch them as they make the whole thing. They added in, what did they add in first? Oh, they first added in the nopal, which is the cactus. Uh, then they added in all the bistec. We got, got bistec, which is the steak, sliced it all up. Um, then what did they add in? Oh, they added on some green onions. They added on avocado, which is an awesome touch. Um, and then they added in some, oh, the, we, we got both green, and red salsa. And then they added on some cheese on top. And this is just bubbling, sizzling away. It smells incredible. It looks delicious. While it's still bubbling hot, I gotta take a bite of, oh, avocado with all that salsa and some of that beef. Oh, oh it's just burning hot. Oh, that is just like steaming hot, almost like liquefied avocado with beef steak. And then that's just like lava hot salsa. Yeah, I'm gonna need to blow on that. All that avocado. It's just like, well, that's liquid av avocado. Oh, it's so good. Wow, that's truly world class. I love the taste. Uh, you can taste those salsas in there, both the roja and the verde, which is the red and green salsa. Um, it, has, um, it has a dry chili flavor. It has a nice sour taste to it. It's, it's it, yeah, it, it's so awesome because it's kept so hot and just burning and you can feel the heat just radiating, radiating off of this stone. Next I will open up the box of tortillas and they have the unique square shaped tortillas here. I'm gonna try to get a little bit of everything into my tortilla for this, this bite. Get some of that scoop into the, the bottom of that beef down there with the avocado, stick this into the tortilla, and then I gotta go in for some of that cheese. Yeah, it almost looks like tofu, but it is cheese, I'm pretty sure. Um, some cheese with some of that salsa. 
next, and then also some of that nopal. Yeah, and I just love how this piece of cactus, it's just kind of draped over the side of the stone like a, like a, blind, like a, like a drying towel. Some extra green salsa. Also some of the pico de gallo. And then finally just a squeeze of lime. Okay, perfecto. Oh wow, that's juicy. I like it with that extra tomatoes and cilantro, that pico de gallo. That gives it an extra refreshing edge along with a, a squeeze of lime. You've got the cheese in there, you've got the beef, you've got all of that, all oh, that wonderful just hot salsa. <laughs> That liquid avocado is amazing. That just dissolves in your mouth. I also could not resist ordering some tacos here and they also serve them on the square tortillas, which I've never seen before. And what's amazing about this place is that they, they mix the meat with a bunch of avocado. Uh, so I, yeah, I'm a huge lover of avocado. Avocado is one of my favorite fruits. And for this one, I got the arachera, which is, uh, I think it's skirt steak. But so they cook the arachera uh, they chop it into small pieces. It looks like beef guacamole. For this one, I'll try the, the red salsa to contrast that green. And then of course, you gotta squeeze on some lime. That just squishes with avocado. Oh, that's just like straight up beef. But really tenderful, flavorful beef mixed with so much pure avocado. It's so pure. It's so, it's such a good combination. It's so rich from that avocado. And that arachera, wow. Because we got the, we got the molcajete with the, the bistec. But the arachera is definitely more tender. They're both good though. But next time I would probably opt for the molcajete with the arachera. Oh man, that beef is awesome. I love the avocado in here. The volcanic bubbling has now stopped, but it's still really hot. You can still see the steam coming off of it. I'm gonna try one of the one of the onions. I just cannot get enough of onions in Mexico. They're so good in every different form and shape. Mm. Oh. oh, that flavor. That just sort of popped with this crunchy onion texture to it. Uh, it's a little bit chewy, like the outer edges of the onion. The outer layers of that onion are a little bit chewy, but then it gets like soft. It's sweet. Oh man, that's delicious. It has a roasted, charred flavor to it. I love it. incredible dish. That stone mortar, it stayed hot. I mean, it didn't bubble the entire time. But even after finishing, after clearing out all the contents of it, you could still see the, the steam rising off of that hot stone. So it stays hot throughout your entire meal. When you're done with your main meal, they come around with a cart full of really colorful desserts and so we decided to try a chocolate cake. Mm. It's not like a, not the fluffy kind of cake but it's really like kind of dense but really rich, really chocolatey. That's a good way to end this meal. It says 508 pesos, and we had all the food that I showed, plus an extra quesadilla, we had drinks, and then we had that dessert, the full, complete meal. That was such a fantastic meal. 
Uh, the food was excellent, service was great. I like how you can, it's still a sit down family restaurant, but you can watch them as they cook your food right in front of you. Um, and then they serve it directly to your table, hot and fresh. It's a very, has a very friendly feel to it as well. Fully enjoyed that lunch. And if you have a chance to make it here when you're in Mexico City, I would highly recommend it. The, everything was good. Yeah, everything was good actually. Uh, so that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and leave a comment comment below. And if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe now. I'm going to be publishing lots more food and travel videos. And also click that little bell icon so that you get notified of all future videos that I publish. Thanks again for watching and I will see you on the next video.